I am here on the magnificent Eyre Peninsula in South Australia. This tiny slither of coast is framed to the north by the Gawler Ranges, the Spencer Gulf to the east and the sometimes furious Great Australian Bight to the west. It's also home to some of the most amazing four-wheel driving this country has to offer, and not to mention the fresh seafood, including the Coffin Bay Oyster. We are here for three days of four-wheel drive touring and fun with the Isuzu iVenture team and a group of avid Isuzu owners here to learn the ins and outs of handling their vehicles off-road. Our journey starts here, the Port Lincoln Hotel, and from here we'll head south to the Lincoln National Park. That will be our first experience of some off-roading and I can't wait. We enter the Lincoln National Park through Sleaford. The park is located in the southeastern corner of the peninsula and is home to some tracks that will test the skills of any tourer, with sand hills, rocky headlands and stunning coastal views on offer, plus some of the clearest water I think I've ever laid eyes on. After a solid day of driving, we've arrived in Coffin Bay, home of the Coffin Bay Oyster, and one of the best yacht clubs in the region with the most magnificent views of the picturesque Kaledi Bay. While you're in Coffin Bay, take the time to do the appropriately named Oyster Walk. It's a 10.4 kilometre walk that winds along the foreshore, and it's the perfect way to work up an appetite. What we're really here for though is the oysters. Well, I am anyway. And Ben and Kim from Oyster HQ explain the ins and outs of the oyster production and its history in the Coffin Bay area. After all that, I need a nap, but there's no rest for the seasoned traveler. So it's onto the beach and some quick tips on sand recovery techniques. After that, it's surely time for dinner and a rest. This area really deserves a lot more time if you're looking to do some touring yourself. Some of my favourite spots included Yangi Bay and the tracks heading to Ely Point. You should also stop at Black Springs to take a look at the Horse Peninsula and Mount Dutton before continuing on to the beautiful Seven Mile Beach. The run along Seven Mile Beach is spectacular. And while we often talk about tyre pressures, it's important to note that what works on one beach may not necessarily work on another. Be prepared to be flexible, and that way you get to see a whole lot more of this stunning coastline. There are so many places that are worthy of a visit on the Eyre Peninsula, but Coffin Bay is a must do, and it's a great place to base yourselves. The food is extraordinary and the four-wheel drive tracks will lead you to some secluded and beautiful beaches. So what are you waiting for? Grab yourself a four-wheel drive and get down here. <music>